Thanks for sticking with us here in Daybreak Extra. We're gearing up for another fun-filled Friday for Friday After Five. And joining me this morning are good friends of ours. We have uh, Gordy Wiltshire and Bob Meacham of the Velvet Bombers. They've driven over from Owensboro today because it's a special day for you guys. It 25th is special. anniversary for you guys getting back together. Um, t let's talk about, in, in general, what it means for your band, first of all, the Velvet Bombers, to still be able to come together 25 years later. Well, you know, mainly it means that Somebody actually wanted to hear us after all these years, so we're <laughs> thrilled to death. <laughs> Bob, let's talk about uh, the, the show 25 years ago. I know your band's probably been together a little longer than that, but when you guys played for the first ever Friday After Five, people like me who, who I wasn't there that night, what, what was the event like? Well, uh, I'm actually... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to dispel we're, we're, a rumor. Yeah, here. we're, we're laughing set here. something straight here. Okay. About the first Friday after five. Well, let's do it. Let's go for it. You, okay. you guys let me know. Let, let me lead into it, and then Bob will start. First of all, I've done a lot of interviews. The leading comment is always, you were the first band, the Velvet Bombers, were the first band to play Friday after five. Just to go on the record, we were not. Really? We were not the first band. Bob's band at the time, the Arnold Chin Band, which was a very a great band from Owensboro, they were actually the first band to play. So we you were the. Were, however, we were the first band to play on the main stage. Oh, gotcha. So you, you guys are still the first. You're the pioneers of this. We're the event. first. So you have you <laughs> have true. you have both of those both of those experiences, Bob. For for your band to be up there though that first night, this event's grown quite a bit. What was it like when you got up there? Uh, I could tell it was going to be the start of something really good. Uh, I don't think there'd ever been anything quite like that in Owensboro that I remember just uh, people getting together to hear uh, a local group. Uh, and what do you think now that so many local groups have taken the stage kind of after you? Do you guys kind of feel honored to be one of the first groups to have been up there and to kind of, because that's how it works, right? You've got to have a good start to these events so they can grow and, and a foundation. How do you guys feel knowing that you're kind of some of the foundation for an event now that is just awesome each and every week downtown the city's so proud of? Oh, it's great. You know, it's, we're, we're the Jackie Robinsons of the, <laughs> of the local music scene. We opened the gate for a lot of people. No, it, it's, it's great. You know, I spent my entire life in the, in the music business. And uh, to see a lot of my ex-customers and young kids that I helped at the store take the stage, it's, it's great. It's just been a great ride. So well, let's talk, Bob, about the, the, the group getting back together tonight. You, you, Gordy says you're the one who kind of puts a lot of the music together. As you guys get back together, what's the sound people can expect to hear tonight? Well, uh, the core of the show is going to be uh, music that the Bombers played back in the good old days which wasn't really that long ago, was it? <laughs> uh, but uh, Gordy and I and Mark Gordon also have a three-piece acoustic groups, kind of, uh, that's a popular thing to do these days. And uh, we've snuck in a few of our songs into the set, and they'll sound even better with full band, drums, bass, so forth. It's going to be fantastic to kind of hear that sound on a beautiful night on the river. Let's talk about your, your all's group because you, you've lost some members of your group. We have. Yeah, and, we, and getting up on stage tonight, that's going to be something that will probably be on your mind too, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of always on my mind. You know, particularly one particular group member worked with me for years and years. And uh, yeah, it's, it's bittersweet, you know, to get up there without those guys. He was much like Bob. Bob sort of take Bobby, took Bobby's place. Bobby Blackford and uh, as the musical director and so we still kind of got that going and actually we were doing a, a luncheon the other day with a bunch of old buddies we call it the old man's breakfast the old man's brunch <laughs> and one of the guys said oh I guess Bobby Blackford will be there right and you know that just symbolizes that he's always there in spirit. Yeah. So you, what, what do you think about the emotion when you hit the stage tonight? When you guys get up there, being one of the first acts, and, and the first act in, in 25 years ago, Friday after 5, this event, it's going to be great, great weather, great weekend. We'll, we'll expect a big crowd. What, what do you think the emotions will be? Well, we've been there before, and uh, it's going to be great to be back. I'm uh, very hopeful for a good crowd, and that'll, that'll mean a lot to us. What about you, Gordy? Uh, you know, it's just, it brings back so many different emotions, you know, excitement, a little bit of nerves. You got to have a little bit of that stage fright nerve thing going on, you know, but, and the memory of the three guys that were always up there with us 
But I, you know, I don't know really how to describe it. I'm going through all these different emotions. You know? What about Friday after five in general? What do you, for people who haven't been down there this year, they hear us talk about it each week. What do you think the event is? What can people expect out of the event? Are you pretty proud of, of what, if, what it's been able to become? Oh, it's incredible what it's become. And we got to give a lot of credit to this young lady that rode over here with us, Miss Francine Marcel, <laughs> who uh, has, I think, done gone above and beyond what anybody expected to happen, Expe especially we missed last year. There was nothing last year. And if you go there now, there's food trucks. There's, there was actually a, a truck there and with a trailer, and they were throwing hatchets. <laughs> now, I, I've been involved with Friday After Five since the beginning. You know, I was entertainment chairman for a while, different positions. I never dreamed we would have a hatchet throwing uh, booth at Friday after five, but it's exciting. It's a great you'll, way to... you'll see six or seven stages of bands. You know, it's a mile. It's a, literally a mile of entertainment. And let's talk about one of the bands that's going to be down there with you real quick. One of the acts will be Larry Maglinger. He wasn't able to make it over here with us today, but we have some, some video and some music from him performing as, as Rod Stewart. You, you, you know Larry pretty well, I'm I've sure. I've known Larry forever and ever, yes. So what do you think about him performing as well with you guys down there tonight? Well, we're excited about it. The, we did this five years ago for the 20th anniversary and Larry also performed with us that year. It's going to be awesome. Friday after five tonight, the Velvet Bombers, Bob Meacham, Gordy Wiltshire, thanks for being here with us today. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way, on getting back together 25 years later. The first act together, the first act on the main <laughs> stage. Both of you guys here making history with us, making history once again tonight. Thanks for being with thanks us. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank you. We got Ron and Joe coming up with the forecast next.